Welcome back to Miss Lena's Kitchen. I am Miss Lena's great granddaughter Simone. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And please share with your friends. Here's now, here's Miss Lena. Hello, I'm Miss Lena today, and, I'm, and I will be doing a meatloaf. And it's gonna be an oven type meatloaf. And it's gonna have, and I'm making it out of like soup mix also. So it should have a very tasty taste to it. So I'm starting with my meatloaf here, and I'm having to kind of mash it up a little bit so it won't be so bumpy and so lumpy. So as I do that, then I will be adding my um, ingredients. So here are my ingredients that I'll be using, okay? I'll be, this is my, uh, my um, garlic powder. I have one teaspoon, one cup, one third cup of garlic powder. One fourth cup of onion powder. Yeah, one four, one half teaspoon of minced garlic. And I have one uh, um, uh, Chesapeake Bay, and then I have salt. I'm going too fast. I have salt. Okay. I'm going to start mixing this up. And I'm, oh, I have my, also, these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So the other, the rest of the ingredients that I'll be using. So this is uh, the recipe for the soup. Then you can use it with your soup or dips, or you can use it in the meatloaf. So I'm using this, the onion dip for in for the meatloaf. Okay. So I'm gonna pour it all in. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to be pouring in the. Uh, I have some uh, onions. And then I have also, this is my uh, yellow bell peppers. Okay. Then I have green onions as well as the regular onions. Okay. So I'm going to be start to mix it up some, some of it to get it in. To start my ingredients. Well, I still have just a little bit of green bell pepper. I'm using different kinds of bell pepper because the bell pepper is what really seasons it real well. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pull all of the bell pepper in right now, okay? And as I pull the bell pepper in, I'm gonna start kind of mix it up a little bit. Then I'll be putting in, I'll be putting in my tomatoes, which I have uh, diced tomatoes also. No, let me see. I have diced tomatoes. I gotta get this mixed up. My diced tomatoes, I gotta mix this up just a little bit. And then I'll get them. I'll be putting in my diced tomatoes. Just a minute. Cause it has to be ready for my, I'm ready for, uh, let me show you. I, then I'm gonna put a little paprika in it, not much. I'm putting in a little paprika. I'm just giving it a sprinkle. I don't want too much in there. So, that's it. All right then, I'm ready for my uh, diced tomatoes, which I'll be blending them in also. I have a cup of, of diced tomatoes, a full cup of diced tomatoes, okay? Then I'm going to blend them in with, with the, into the meat. So I'm going to keep blending until they kind of get in together. Because it takes a little while when you have a whole cup. And I think I have about four pounds of ground meat. Okay, all right, now I'll be doing, I'll be getting, I got some, um, let me get my tomato paste. I have tomato paste, which I'll be blending in also. Okay, I'm not going to use a full can of tomato paste because I have, I have uh, the whole can of diced tomatoes and I won't need that this much. I need to, uh, I need to, um. Uh, Put my eggs in. Wait, I didn't beat the eggs, so I need a fork. All right, I'm beating the eggs. So I'm going to start blending in just a little bit at a time. I'm not going to put them all at once because I want to get some of my bread, bread, bread crumbs in also. So I'm just going to blend these in a little oh, bit at a time. Hold on. Just a little bit at a time. Just a minute. I've got to get the bread crumbs. I mean, the eggs all kind of battered in. 
Now then I will start my breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. I'm pouring all the, one cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, these are plain, are plain breadcrumbs, okay? This is what I'm having here. Use the plain breadcrumbs. Okay. Um, the plain bread All right. Now, I'll be putting the rest of my eggs in. And I'm going to have to put some more breadcrumbs in, which I thought I would. Okay. 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 Now give me the other pan breadcrumbs. I'm going to have to mix a little bit more breadcrumbs in with them. That was that's not going to be enough. So I had four pounds, I, four pounds of meat to start with, and so I'm using two cups of. I said it would be one yeah, cup okay. to one pound of meat. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get the let me get on the side. Okay. Oh, hold on. Just a minute. I'm blending this in so I can make sure it's yeah. going to be a, see if it's going to be enough breadcrumbs here to get this all mixed up together. I'm using breadcrumbs instead of cracker crumbs or whatever. Okay. I'm going to pull the rest of the breadcrumbs in because I have to blend it in till it's well blended. Sometimes it takes a little bit more according to what's... Uh, type of ground meat you're using, whether it's the ground uh, chuck, but this is just regular ground meat and it's just a little bit lighter than the, than the ground chuck is. So that means sometimes you have to put just a little bit more uh, breadcrumbs in it. So that's what I'm doing, adding a few more breadcrumbs. Yeah, you don't want to call me Gavadier. <laughs> okay. Now I pour it in. Okay. I'm pouring the heaven and pour the rest of the tom tomato sauce in. All of it, okay. All right. One big round. Yeah, of yeah. Water. I'm pouring all of it in, and I'm getting this blended together yeah, for the tomato flavor, okay. I go. I, I'm blending it in. I'm I'm blending it in to put it all in, and I'll put the other on top, okay. I need to. Okay. Now, I'm trying to put it all in one section to pound it off to make a big towel to, uh, meatloaf. This will be a big meatloaf. Like I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm using about four pounds of meat here for this particular meatloaf. So, I'm getting it blend together where we can really stay together. When I get ready to slice it, I'll have nice big thick slices of, of meatloaf. So, I'm going to Get ready to. I'm pouring the rest of my um, tomato sauce on. All right. I need just a little bit of. See, I need just a little bit of water on top of it. Just a tiny bit. A tiny tiny. Okay, this should be a good old fashioned meatloaf with just a little, because it will make its own gravy from this, from here. So I'm getting ready to put it in the oven and I'll be back in just a minute. This is an old fashioned meatloaf, all right? Thank you. Okay, I have to add just a little bit more tomato sauce. So I ended up putting another whole can because this is quite a bit of, this is quite a bit of meat, so. I thought I could do it, cause it, but this that was a four pound meat, and it takes a little bit more than it does for two pounds. So this will help your gravy to come out with it. So all right, thank you. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, bye. Bye. Okay, I'm back now, and my meatloaf is ready for you to see. So it's very delicious looking, and I hope you'll enjoy looking at it. Then I'm gonna have a plate fixed here that you can see. I have cornbread and cabbage to go with it. There are my steamed cabbage with the cornbread and the meatloaf. Okay? And I'm going to uh, give you a taste. This is Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I would like for you to like, share, and subscribe. And give me your comments on whatever it is. And I sure do thank you. And another video, another video will be coming soon.
Thank you so much. And be blessed today. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to add my taste to it. Mm, it is so delicious. I have to get another taste. Mm. I'm going to also taste the blend of my cabbage. I'm going to bite of my cornbread. And this is a full meal. And I thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Come again. Bye-bye.